Hey everyone, Alex Tardy here, National Weather Service. Just getting done looking at the latest precipitation forecast that was updated today on Saturday. Let's talk about here with the next storm coming into Southern California. Here are the highlights. Not a whole lot has changed. Still dry weather through the weekend, uh, other than some sprinkles passing to our north. Now increasing precipitation looks likely on Monday, but it's going to be light and again across Orange County and the western San Bernardino Mountains. We are watching a swell coming in from the west and so surf's going to be picking up uh, through the weekend. Probably peaking out uh, sometime Monday but we still see a surge on Tuesday as well. Heaviest precipitation looks to be for Tuesday and Tuesday night. That's also when the snow levels will come down. Uh, tapering to scattered showers Wednesday uh, looks like in the morning. Rainfall totals of one to two inches for most areas, uh, higher amounts across Orange County and the San Bernardino, San Gabriel foothills. Those areas could see one to three inches uh, with locally higher. Rainfall rates of about a quarter to half inch per hour at their peak. Again, that looks like it's going to be Tuesday and Tuesday night. Snow levels are going to be high uh, on Monday, and then they're going to come down to between six and 7,000 feet Tuesday and especially Tuesday night. The best chance for rain uh, for most areas and the best chance for heavy rain is Tuesday and Tuesday night. Here's the weather risk outlook. This should show clearly that Tuesday is the day with the most impactful weather with wind and rain and the continuation of the high surf. Now some rain will begin before that and even some rain activity in form of showers will continue after that period. Here's a look at statewide precipitation totals expected from now through mid next week. You can see a significant storm for central Northern California. Now, because rain is not expected to be excessive in the San Diego area, the river forecast is below the flood stage 10 feet. Um, there is some low probability though, uh, if the storm system were to stall out a little longer on Tuesday night, uh, that we could get higher than what's predicted as shown here. And here's what largely drives the issuance of a flood watch before any flood warning. The excessive rainfall outlook as shown here for Tuesday. The yellow shaded area means those areas could see too much rainfall overall and too high of rainfall rates that could result in urban and small stream flooding. So the area in yellow is the main concern for Tuesday, Tuesday night. So the flood watch that was issued today looks like this, the green shaded area, northern San Diego County and points northward, not including the deserts. And you can see it runs right up through LA County and Ventura County. Other hazards in effect include the high surf advisory, the winter weather advisory for the snow above 7,000 feet. All those can be found on weather.gov. The total precipitation, the most likely rainfall is uh, one to two inches in the western part of our region. That's the Inland Empire, the Foothills, and Orange County. And it tapers down to about a half inch when you get to the Mexico border. Uh, the biggest rainfall looks like it'll be the San Gabriel Mountains again, as shown here in the darker orange shaded locally around four inches. Snowfall. The snow will start at 8,000 feet on Monday, so that's a pretty high level. That takes us to our highest pass, Onyx Peak. It'll come down on Tuesday to between 7,000 and 7,500, so that starts to affect areas like Mount Baldy. Uh, and then by Tuesday night, it comes down even lower between 6,000 and 6,500 feet before it tapers off. So a lot of the snow will be wet, so wet snow can be an impact as it accumulates um, on trees and could down power lines, but it also can affect travel with the slippery snow conditions in the higher elevations at and above 7,000 feet. Are we done after this storm? Well, it uh, looks like the weather pattern remains active. We're tracking another storm now. Looks like it's going to come in between the 24th and 27th. That would be late February. Uh, entirely different storm large Pacific storm that slows down like what we're seeing now off the west coast in the eastern Pacific and then moves inland 
next weekend. So stay tuned for more information on that potential storm.